To the Secret Rose by William Butler Yeats. Read for LibriVox.org by Caitlin Cooper. In Covington, Louisiana, December twenty second, two thousand and seven. Far off, most secret and inviolate rose, enfold me in my hour of hours, where those who sought thee at the holy sepulchre or in the wine vat dwell beyond the stir and tumult of defeated dreams and deep among pale eyelids heavy with the sleep men have named beauty your great leaves enfold the ancient beards the helms of ruby and gold of the crowned magi and the king whose eyes saw the pierced hands and rude of elder rise in druid vapour and make the torches dim till vain frenzy awoke and he died and him who met fan walking among flaming dew by a gray shore where the wind never blew, and lost the world in Emer for a kiss, and him who drove the gods out of their lists, until a hundred morns had flowered red, feasted and wept the barrows of his dead, and the proud dreaming king who flung the crown in sorrow away, and calling bard and clown dwelt among wine-stained wanderers in deep woods, and him who sold tillage and house and goods, and sought through lands and islands numberless years, until he found with laughter and with tears a woman of so shining loveliness that men threshed corn at midnight by a tress, a little stolen tress. I too await the hour of thy great wind of love and hate, when shall the stars be blown about the sky, like the sparks blown out of a smithy and die? Surely thine hour has come, thy great wind blows, far off most secret and inviolate rose. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.